What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Fallen Tide TV. As always, my name's Nate. And on today's episode, I'm riding solo today and uh, trying to do a little bit of uh, saltwater fishing here. I just got out here and uh, pulling up to the first spot I want to fish. Uh, it's kind of just a, it's kind of a little bay here and got a series of ponds kind of on the outside of it. And I'm just gonna troll around and see if I catch some fish. Uh, once the sun gets up, I'll see if the, you know, the water's clear enough to where I can actually see these fish. Uh, I'd like to do a little bit of sight fishing. I might get that ice chest and, and get it up on this bow and see if I can stand up and fish. Um, but if not, that's cool. I just troll around and fish. Hopefully today, uh, you know, turns out pretty good. Hopefully I can put together a good saltwater fishing video for you guys. I mean, I'm mo mostly targeting redfish. Um, I'm kind of just fishing for sport today. I might keep a couple of fish just to take home to, to you know, to the family. But um, for, the for the most part, I'm just out here trying to enjoy myself, enjoy my time on the water. So please, if you guys are not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button uh, before we get into the video. And I also wanted to let you guys know, I still have hats available on the website. And uh, also I wanted to announce that we've teamed up with Everyday Outdoors. This right here is their patented state camo, uh, Louisiana version, obviously. I'm wearing sport in Louisiana. Of course, you know, I love Louisiana. I love everything Louisiana has to offer. I take pride in my state. And I thought it was pretty cool that they made camouflage out of the state of Louisiana. And they offer camo for, I believe, every state uh, in the United States. And, uh, you know, so if you guys are from Texas, Alabama, Florida, don't matter. They got a pattern for you. Um, and we teamed up with them to give you guys a discount code. So if, if y'all go to check out at Everyday Outdoors, you go to check out whenever you uh, purchase your stuff. Uh, just put in Falling Tide TV in all caps. Uh, when, as a promo code and or you can just click the link in the description here it takes you straight through using the code already your 15 percent already be uh you know applied to your purchase so yeah i just wanted to announce that and uh and yeah without further ado let's get into some fishing all right y'all so i'm gonna start off throwing this uh colorado blade spinner with a matrix shad tiger bait and uh, I think it's a, I think it's a quarter ounce jig head. I wanted to go with something a little bit lighter. I want to be able to kind of burn it across the surface. Uh, so I want to be able to get up shallow. Well, it ain't, you know, necessarily bouncing off the bottom. If I got to adjust, I will, but that's what I wanted to start with. So let's see what happens. Also got, you know, I got, I, I got dead shrimp too. So if I need that, I'll, you know, I'll make the switch. Yeah, there's a red. Keep seeing his back. He's showing his back. He's up shallow. He just had a big blow up over here. Let's see if I can catch this thing. See something hitting that bush right there. It's probably mullets right there. But he's around here somewhere. There he goes, right there. He ain't gonna bite. I spooked him. There you go. Boom! Spoke too soon. I'm gonna get the boat. Sir. Perfect size, bro. Got him. I thought he spooked. I thought there was no way he was gonna bite. He, he took off from the trolling motor and I just pitched it right in front of the V and uh, got him. That's exactly what I'm looking for too right there. Oh, he choked it too, man. God dang. I mean, look at this. I mean, he absolutely choked that spinner bait. <laughs> exactly what I'm looking for, y'all. Beautiful. Exactly what I'm looking for, y'all. Give me a couple of these. Take home to the family. We got something good to eat tonight. I hate these stupid 
Yeah. That sucker got me. That's gonna swell up like you don't know. That sucker got me good. Stuck by a hard head. That's the worst fish to get stuck by. Hard head got me good, y'all. Here's the. There you go, another one. Oh, right species this time, just wrong size. All right. Nope, another little red. I got a little school of reds in it. They're just small. That's good. Though. That's the future right there. That's good. The red fishing's kind of slow, so I'm encouraged to see what looks to be a good spawn. That was a decent hit, whatever that was. That's him. That's the one. That's him. That's the one I was looking for. There you go, my boy. Fighting hard heads, fighting little rat reds. But we're rewarded. I knew the dead shrimp would work. It's kind of like, it's kind of cheating to be honest, in my opinion. But like I said, I was trying to get these two fish for food. I'm gonna sit here and pop this cork a little longer. And if I don't have any more luck, uh, I'm gonna end up moving and just trying to do some more sight fishing. Maybe fish with artificial. But if I, if I continue to catch reds right here in this little spot, I'm gonna keep fishing it. It's fun. I like fighting these things. I realized in the middle of this catch that I forgot my net. <laughs> so, a big fish is going to be fun. But, I mean, look at that. That is a beautiful fish. Look at this. Dude. Look at that fish. That blue tail. Look at that beautiful blue tail. Look at that fish. Just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful red fish. Mm-hmm. Heck yeah, y'all. That's supper. All right, y'all. Let's try again. I think he was just chilling in that tall grass right there or something. We're just trolling this little shelf right here. another one right here. Oh. There you go again. There we go again. Get your butt out the grass. Get your butt out the grass. Too nice red y'all. Beautiful, beautiful red. Come on now, I ain't got a net. You better get your butt in here. There you go. Yes indeed, boys. Found me a little spot, y'all. Well, I mean, fished and fished and fished and fished and fished. Fought them hard heads, and they had two redfish sitting right here off this little point. Both of them made beautiful redfish. Got some spots on it. 
Beautiful fish. Look at that fish, y'all. Beautiful spots. That blue tail in a feeding frenzy, y'all. I mean, just beautiful. I can never get over the power of these fish. My buddy Ty Hibbs, he's got this uh, hashtag going because of his podcast. It's called uh, One for Louisiana. And it's encouraging anglers to release a one redfish out of their bag and come home with only four fish. Well, today I'm only keeping two, but this one's for you, Ty. Do a little, I'm gonna do a little Instagram clip, y'all. So for any of you guys that's not already listening to Ty Hibbs' podcast, you guys need to go check it out. But uh this one's for you, Ty. One for Louisiana. I knew when we pulled up a couple of them small reds that they, they got to be some more reds sitting right here. I mean, that's a lot of a lot of little reds to be sitting in one spot for them not to have at least a big one around there somewhere. This might be a popular, you know, just patrolling spot. Look, there you go. That's what it is. This is just a spot where they're just swimming through. Another, another beautiful fish. Perfect fish. I mean, if you were coming to fill up an ice chest with fish, I mean, you could do it. Seriously. Look at that blue tail, too. God dang. I'll show y'all in the light. Look at that blue tail. I love that. Another nice red, y'all. Belly on her. All right. Real big. <laughs> That's fun, y'all. That's three reds in a row right here off this little point. I'm having fun just catching them, y'all. and all them fish sitting right here but like i said it's probably this is the main mouth to a to a big bay here it's the main pass coming through here and my guess is they're just coming through here you know tides moving these fish are probably getting ready to start doing something different or just sitting in these main ways these main you know waterways and waiting for bait fish to come through one or the other There we go, another one. Another one. God dang, they fight so hard. Get your butt over here. Yes, indeed. Number five of the day. Number four from this one spot. Gotta love it. Ty, how about three for Louisiana? Change my hook, and I'm bent it all up. There he goes.
a sheep here. Drum. I'll keep that. I'll keep that. Don't mind keeping a drum, y'all. Hope y'all can see that good. Son. Yes, sir. I'm pretty sure he's 16, but I don't give him a measurement anyway. Oh, yeah, he's 18. Yep. drum the drum it's a good sign the dude had some fight Trout. Oh, we got off. That's what it is, though. They got school of specs right here. I had my suspicions, so I threw this voodoo shrimp. That's a big one. I think it's a red. Yeah, it's a red. Another nice red. Wow. <laughs> Dude has a fight. Heavy fish. Came bait, my friend. Oh, catch me a red on that. Trout. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Stop, stop, stop. All right, all right. That's enough. That's a good spec, y'all. Decent spec. 
pretty fish. I'm gonna let it go, y'all. I don't know how many people are gonna be mad at me for that, but I'm not the biggest fan of specks. I like catching them. I don't really like to eat them. I'm not a fan of a, a fish taco. Got some specks out there. If I get on a good speck bite, they start biting back to back, I'll keep some and, and just give them away, but I ain't gonna keep just one speck. So y'all don't be mad at me for throwing back specks. <laughs> That's more for y'all to catch. Speck. All right, I might keep a few. If they want to keep biting like this. I'll keep you. Thirteen inches. You sucker. That was a bad boat flip. Bad boat flip. <sighs> Stupid me. It's all right, we'll get them. Uh, I figured out where they moved to. They moved from here to over here, it seems. They're eating on these dead shrimp. Too hard. There we go. Another one for the box. All right, all right, all right. Calm down. Now that I figured out where y'all sitting, another 13 inch. Baby trout. Ain't gonna make it. Skin of his teeth, or tooth, should I say? The skin of his snaggle tooth. <laughs> Dad joke. All right, boys and girls. Uh, trout bite didn't really take off like I thought it would. I tried to follow the bait and tried to stay with him a little bit and, and kind of let, let the boat drift and try to see if I can get back on him again. But and I got a few of them in there. You know, I caught a few. A lot of them were small, but, but yeah, I caught a lot of fish today. A lot of random fish, a lot of fish I wasn't gonna keep, a lot of a lot of fish I wouldn't have, you know, kept even if I was planning on keeping a bunch of fish today. A lot of hardheads, a lot of small reds, a lot of small drum, small trout. 
Um, but you know, that's encouraging to me. That's encouraging to me to see all of these smaller fish here. That tells me that since the storm, they've had a really good spawn here. So that really makes me happy. The storm really hit this place pretty hard. So makes me happy to see that. And uh, I was encouraged that the fish that I caught uh, I, f I found that the fish were in very, you know, select areas, se select spots, it seemed like. But once you found them, you found them. So, yeah, it was a good time. I mean, getting out here solo all by myself and, you know, being able to just be one, you know, just be out here all by myself and be in my own thoughts. And, uh, you know, I, I enjoy that. I enjoy being alone sometimes. And, and I think we all do. But, yeah, guys, it's starting to get late. It's about 1230. So. I'm gonna start heading home. I wanna get home at a decent time the way I can prepare these fish and we can fry them up. Uh, I'm gonna give the trout away. I got a friend of mine that, that really wanted the trout. So I'm gonna give those three trout and I got a little bag of, of some at the house. I'm gonna give them. Uh, I'm not, I'm just not a very big speckled trout fan, you know? I mean, unless I take them straight home and fry them, you know, that's kind of like the only way I really like them. But but yeah, so, so y'all don't kill me for letting, letting a couple of them fish go. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, guys, I really appreciate y'all for watching today's video. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. I'd really appreciate that. Leave this video a like and please leave a comment. Comments are the very best thing for the algorithm. If I'm trying to get a video to get some traction, those comments really help, guys. So I'd really appreciate it if y'all would do that. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all next time on Fallen Tide TV.